Hi Cancer, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of November 7th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, these are general readings. So please take with you what resonates and leave what does not behind for someone else. Okay? If you're seeking a personal psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Cancer, this is a week of good news arriving, and you're going to be celebrating whatever this news is. Uh, there is some rest before further development in a new emotional path. Your next new beginning is going to be a winner, and in the United States here, I think that's December 21st, okay? Uh, an Aquarius, another Cancer, and a Pisces may or may not res resonate with you. The help that you need is on the way. There's been a lesson well learned. And there's going to be some kind of um, outing, maybe date night, something like that, some night out. So let's see what we have for Cancer for the week of the 7th. Okay, cards want to stick together here. First card up, we have the star. Star is coming in with wish fulfillment, but also indicating that any delays are actually in your favor. And right beside that, there is your tower card moment. And don't fear the tower. The tower brings about sudden changes. It always leads to something better. This could be your temper. This could be saying what you need to say and moving on very quickly. Nine of Swords. Do not overthink things. It will cause a loss of sleep. Then we have the Six of Wands. Look at there. You guys are in the spotlight. You've got an audience. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Maybe you're doing a training thing at work, something like that, but you're in the spotlight. Okay. And this screams victory and success, particularly in the month of November. Three of Swords coming in at the center of your reading. Three, three is a crowd, third person, unwanted advice and or opinion coming right with that tower. Okay, we're going to clarify that as well. We also have the wheel. The wheel comes in. Uh, the wheel does indicate the wheel is turning to your favor. It will bring in good luck and abundance. It's also your card of partnership. Now, this could be in love and it could be in business. So, just take that as how it resonates with you. Ten of Swords, New Beginning. This also says you're surrounded by healing energy. Okay? And the healing energy that I have here. For some of you, it's a physical healing, but for a lot of you, it's an emotional healing where someone has done you wrong, okay? And let's see, we have the Five of Swords. You're very defensive. You're very guarded. Your cat claws are out, guys. Just saying. It's right here. And we have the Six of Swords. You're leaving the trouble waters. You're heading off into the calm. But you're having to do this on yourself. In other words, you can't sit on your butt and wait for things to happen. You've got to make things happen this week. Okay? So, let's continue on with these messages. This is for Cancer for the week of November 7th, 2022. Let's see what we have going on here. All right, we have the Page of Cups. Uh, unexpected offer, for a lot of you, it's going to be an unexpected offer in love. On that Tower card moment comes the Six of Pentacles, restoring your financial blessing. So perhaps something is amiss in the finances that has provoked this Tower card or someone being in your business financially. Okay, we also have the Seven of Swords. Now, there is a strong warning here. When I have a reading with the Seven of Swords, with that Three of Swords of someone lying to you, guys, I don't care if you are single or coupled, let's make sure you are not in a third party situation. Okay, just want to throw that out there. And on the Six of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, Divine Timing. Overcoming your obstacles, pushing them to the side, creating a new path, a better path than the right path. I have two tens together. Two, uh, ten of Wands and Ten of Swords is just going to give you just as a powerful new beginning as what the Death card would offer. Okay? So, remember, Cancer, you cannot have a new beginning without an ending. So, I'm going to throw that out there as well. On the Three of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles comes in with there is a good business deal. It's going to come rushing in. And we have the Five of Wands. Not everything is perfect. Not everything is perfect. This is in the home life. There is going to be some challenges there. 
Um, disruption, discord. I don't see really, I don't think that the tower could be with a family member. I want to throw that out there as well. Okay. On that Ten of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Working, gaining, raises, and or promotions. On that Five of Swords is the Five of Swords. Look at there. I can make this up. That's how defensive and guarded you are. There's definitely going something going on with this Tower card and in the home life. Okay. And on the Six of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is coming in with a new beginning is in your financial sector. Now, let's give you a bonus card for the week for my Cancers. What do we have? We have the Emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. This is almost like someone that comes in to save the day. Uh, you generally don't connect gender. Uh, but for whatever reason, I feel this is a male. So, I'm going to throw that out there. Okay, Cancer, don't forget, personal readings, JackieTomlin.com. You have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.